In higher education, concepts like experiential, collaborative, and interdisciplinary learning can be traced back to Black Mountain College. The college embarked on a radical experiment in education that emphasized creativity, experimentation, and interdisciplinary study. We'll explore some of the people driving those innovations. The political, economic, and social circumstances in the years before Black Mountain College was founded were turbulent, which the arts reflected and in some cases predicted. Numerous innovative art forms sprang up attempting to capture the energy of the times, and the people of Black Mountain College were at the heart of those innovations. In 1933, John Andrew Rice, with others, founded Black Mountain College in North Carolina. After attending Tulane University, where he studied classics, and the University of Oxford, where he was a Rhodes Scholar, he taught classics at Rollins College. Rice's educational thinking was influenced by the ideas of John Dewey, a prominent American philosopher, psychologist, and educator. Rice became disillusioned with the traditional model of education. He believed that education should be more student-centered and that it should emphasize creativity and critical thinking. The faculty owned and operated the college. They embraced a unique educational philosophy that placed art and creativity at the core of the curriculum. There were only two required courses, Joseph Albers' course on materials and form and a course on Plato. There was a spirit of collaboration that encouraged students and faculty to explore a variety of disciplines and engage in open dialogue. This interdisciplinary approach created a vibrant and intellectually stimulating environment. Faculty and students, who included many of the most influential artists and thinkers of the 20th century, experimented with novel forms of expression and helped establish and shape the aesthetic of the post-war era. Joseph and Annie Albers fled Germany in 1933 with the rise of the Nazi Party. The Nazis were hostile to modern art and design, and saw the Bauhaus, where the Albers taught, as a center of degenerate art. At Black Mountain, the Albers taught a variety of subjects, including design, color theory, weaving, and photography. Joseph Albers was known for his work in color theory and geometric abstraction. Annie Albers is widely recognized as the leading textile designer of the 20th century. John Cage was a key figure in experimental music. He challenged traditional notions of composition, embracing chance and silence in his works. He was a student and returned to teach courses ranging from music to philosophy. His course titled Experimental Composition, one of the first of its kind, explored the use of chance and indeterminacy in music. His piece, 4 minutes 33 seconds, had a lasting influence on experimental music. Merce Cunningham is considered one of the most important figures in modern dance. He collaborated with numerous artists, including Cage, Robert Rauschenberg, and Jasper Johns. He was also a former student who returned to teach classes. He explored the relationship between dance and other forms, such as music, poetry, and visual art. Black Mountain is often cited as the birthplace of performance art, and Cage's theater piece number one was likely the first. The event featured a piano performance by David Tudor, white paintings by Rauschenberg hanging from the ceiling, a lecture by Cage, and a dance performance by Cunningham while being chased by a dog. Everything occurred at the same time. Robert Creeley was a renowned American poet and writer associated with the Beat Generation. Creeley was also a student who later taught courses, including poetry, fiction, and creative writing. M.C. Richards advocated for the integration of art and life, and was known for examining the relationship between poetry and the natural world. Her work in eco-poetry, which explored the relationship between humans and nature, continues to influence poets. Buckminster Fuller taught design, architecture, and technology. He believed that technology could be used to solve many of the world's problems and was particularly interested in using technology to address environmental problems. His ideas had a major impact on the development of environmentalism. His course called Dymaxion Design explored the use of new materials and technologies to create innovative designs. 
he and his students built one of the first geodesic domes. The college's reputation for creativity and experimentation drew students from around the world who were searching for an alternative to traditional education. The student body was highly diverse and coeducational. Women made up a significant portion of the student body. Robert Rauschenberg attended Black Mountain College to study with Albers. Rauschenberg was influenced by the work of Marcel Duchamp and other artists of the Dada and Surrealist movements. His work bridged the gap between painting and sculpture, blurring boundaries, and challenging artistic conventions. He is especially known for his works that combine painting, sculpture, and found objects. Ruth Asawa's unique wire sculptures captivated audiences with their intricate forms and use of space. Her work blurred the lines between sculpture and drawing, showcasing her mastery of form and challenging conventional notions of sculpture. Her untitled works feature intricate wire sculptures, which showcase her mastery of form and space. Cy Twombly was recognized for his abstract paintings, which often feature biomorphic shapes and gestural marks. His works captured the essence of emotion and language, making him a key figure in contemporary art. Jacob Lawrence is best known for his narrative paintings of African American history. His most famous work is the Migration Series, which tells the story of the great migration of African Americans from the South to the North in the early 20th century. Black Mountain College's emphasis on collaboration, creativity, and interdisciplinary learning influence curricula at other colleges and universities. The Evergreen State College, which offers a highly interdisciplinary curriculum and emphasizes experiential learning, was inspired by the Black Mountain College model. The Bard College MFA program in experimental writing, which emphasizes creativity and experimentation, was founded by Black Mountain alumni Robert Creeley. Financial difficulties forced Black Mountain College to close, but its legacy continues to inspire educators, artists, and thinkers today. The college's emphasis on creativity, innovation, and interdisciplinary education continues to be relevant in the 21st century, and its alumni continue to impact the arts and humanities. The Black Mountain College marker is located on West State Street in Black Mountain, North Carolina. The college campus, now Camp Rockmont for Boys, is about three miles northwest of the marker.